My name is Karen Briefer Ghost. I'm a Kern County constituent and one of the thousands of public safety and support employees who serve this community. I began my career with the county in November of 2000 with the Sheriff's Department, and I've been a supervising departmental analyst for ETR since January of 2008 and have been topped out at ESTEP since 2010. What I want to address tonight are the real and significant differences between things like step increases, promotions, and special pays versus an increase to base pay via a real salary increase and or a cost of living adjustment. It's come to my attention that Mr. Alsop has countered stories of frozen salaries with assertions that those employees have received promotions or step increases during the past 12 years, thus arguing it hasn't really been that long. Uh, even for those of us who have received promotions or step increases, unless a job title has been reclassified or the salary adjusted, the failure to increase wages at all ranges and steps means that our new salary is not going to be what it should be. It might be more than what we were making before, but we're still promoting into the 2007 wage for that position. And I'll say that again for the people in the back. We are being paid 2007 wages in 2019. Our wages have been at a standstill while the costs of everything from groceries to gasoline have increased dramatically. In addition- of the board, my name is Veronica Vasquez. I'm a social worker five with the Department of Human Services and I am the SEIU 521 chapter president, which represents over 4,000 county employees who are also Kern County constituents. I have been with the county for nearly 12 years where I have served along with many talented employees who have worked tirelessly to ensure the safety and well-being of Kern County residents. To be clear, Kern County members within our chapter are responsible for an incredible amount of support for our community and fellow agencies. Everything from legal assistance to road maintenance, in-home social services, child protective services, park rangers to aging and adult. Many of our members also make up the security of our county operations within the IT department as well as the prompt emergency response and dispatch. We truly make this county function. You heard speak here today. All come from so many different backgrounds. But at the end of the day, we all want similar things in life. Good jobs, steady incomes, and the ability to provide for our families without having to worry about the financial burdens we endure. My coworkers have been taking on higher caseloads, increasing job expectation, increasing responsibilities, responsibilities, which causes management to institute disciplinary measures for unrealistic expectations. This makes coworkers more vulnerable for termination, especially if they are too fearful to file grievances. I'm a human services supervisor with the Department of Human Services located at 3041 Wilson Road, also known as the Kinship Office. I've been employed with the county and this department for 18 years and I'm a constituent of District 4. I understand that today's meeting is to discuss the proposed budget and I come to you to discuss today the issues that is related directly to our county's unwillingness to invest in the needs of our workers and their safety. I've already learned you can't hire or keep patrol deputies this way and I urge you to dip into those reserves for those of us in SEIU 521. You can't run a county without qualified employees and, you can, and your ability to hire and retain employees with not just the education, but the real world experience to deliver an acceptable level of service to residents is crumbling. It's long past time to raise base pay to levels that are commensurate with those in other areas. We've sacrificed enough, thank you. Could you give us your note? First, I believe it is essential that the county ensure that public services are delivered by a knowledgeable and experienced workforce via competitive salaries and working conditions that promote high quality service delivery. When workers feel valued, they remain on the job. High turnover rates, job stress, and substandard working conditions hurt everyone and put vital services in jeopardy. Secondly, there is currently a troublesome and ongoing problem at DHS concerning an infestation of bed bugs that continues to negatively affect the health and morale of DHS employees. To my knowledge, the bed bug problem was first identified in 2017 and, I've been told, is still unresolved. 
I believe because many employees were unaware on how to prevent, identify, or treat this problem, it escalated into a serious issue that is still affecting that work site and the community that seeks services at that location. I'm wondering what it will take to modify the leadership of this county to protect the workers and the community in which they live and serve by committing to hire and retain a skilled workforce by increasing wages and improving working conditions. Serious gaps in county services are detrimental to all of us. Please remember that substandard pay, substandard working conditions equals substandard county services. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your Hello, my name is Tracy Schaffner, S-H-O-F-N-E-R, and I'm a social worker too and have worked at the Department of Human Services for 15 years. I'm here today, like my fellow coworkers, to say that I too contribute to the public safety of the county, yet I have not received a raise in over 12 years. I would like to thank you for this opportunity to speak as a social worker because I am committed as an employee and I have a strong desire to promote, but I'm finding it financially difficult to stay. There are many DHS employees who struggle to make ends meet, meet have two jobs and do without, and it is not acceptable. I am respectfully requesting that you ensure this budget begins to invest in the immediate and urgent needs of our employees. It is time that the Board of Supervisors recognizes the importance of all employees at the Department of Human Services. Uh, my name is John Rozo, last name is spelled R-O-Z as in zebra O. I'm a constituent in McLeeson's District 1, and I'm here to respectfully request consideration of a substantial increase for all Kern County employees. As you continue to hear and evaluate the budget proceedings that will lead to an approved budget, it is important to understand that the safety and security of our members is vitally important to ensuring that our residents obtain the most adequate services available to them. I ask that you please consider the needs of our coworkers and our families as you make your final budget decisions. I thank you. Thank you. My name is Michelle Salazar. I'm a constituent of District 3, and I'm a social worker for DHS. I'm a public safety employee, and I protect Kern County's most vulnerable and valuable residents, our children. I have worked for the county for nearly 11 years, and I am here to tell you that I, along with my coworkers, feel left behind. Today, as you continue your deliberations on the next budget, I ask that you take into consideration the urgent role our frontline workers and support staff play in ensuring the safety and health of our community. Our county agencies cannot and will not function properly, and the needs of our community will continue to suffer if you elect to disregard the immediate need to invest in our workforce. As our staff continue to reduce in number, the community's needs continues to grow. As I've stated publicly before, we are continuing to lose high quality, educated, and experienced workers for higher paying wages and better benefits. Those left behind suffer from low morale, burnout, hopelessness, and a loss of faith in our leaders. Our community deserves better. Not Brian Osorio. Yes, my name is Brian Osorio, and I'm a council member for the city of Delano. Um, so I, first of all, I wanna say, you know, I was looking at this four-year deficit mitigation plan. It is very impressive to see how much uh, the deficit has decreased over the four years, or expected to decrease in four years. Uh, but the cost that I don't see on paper is the emotional distress, the anxieties, the fears that many people have given public comment, uh, uh, Delano residents in SEIU and uh, other county employees from Delano. And so I'm here to stand in support, uh, in solidarity with SEIU, but also you know, urge uh, you all to reconsider the current county budget as it stands. I know it's uh, far easier said than done, but in the end, you have the potential, the ability, the capability uh, to change the lives of many, many residents here, uh, in the Kern County. Thank you. Thank you. As board leaders, it is your responsibility to make every effort to bring <coughs> solutions to the challenges we face in the workplace, which include appropriate staffing, oversight of subpar working conditions, and the safety and health of the employees that make this county work. We are ready to Ms. work alongside you and your staff to find solutions together, but it takes the commitment from you in this budget. We look forward to welcoming you to more walk-a-days alongside our members. Thank you. Thank you. Who'll be next?